Okay guys, I'm back with you. I screwed up and filmed on tight, so <laughs> the clip before you're probably I'm probably not gonna add. I found a little trail off the horse trail. Here's the horse trail. Here's this trail. It's well worn. And it's got some higher brakes. See that? See that. I believe this is just a deer trail that somebody's walked down. I could be wrong, but I walked down it a little bit off the main trail. See if I see anything interesting. This is leading down towards the lake. This is a trail that leads down to where they drink water where deer drink water. This is the back up of a cove. And it's their intersection right here. There's one. This would be a good place for a tree stand actually. If I can get one in here. This is about three or four trails intersect right here. All leading down to uh, the lake. Our friends can uh, drink water. Now I know this little structure here to me looks like a bunch of blowdowns hauled up, but I'm noticing a couple things that I was told to notice by uh, Janice. Uh, some of these sticks are natural, but some of these sticks look like they've been placed. Okay. And uh, here are two that I'm going to say have been placed. This stick right here. Okay. It's been broken off. I don't know if you can see that. And this lane here. This stick right here, I mean, there's no reason for these sticks to be in here like this. See? Broken off on the end. It's just laying there. I haven't touched it. And there's this cedar tree that's laying across here. It could have fallen. But if I was going to make me a little place to lay and there's in the center that's a good I'm gonna try to get around to it. Good spot to lay down. And just and I'm smelling something guys. I know from this is dead falling old vines. I can't. I mean, this would be a place you could crawl into. Alright. Cedar tree fall is a good place here. No, the cedar tree fell. Do you see what I see right there? in the layer, or whatever you want to call this thing. There's a little bloom. It's kind of out of place. And here's the spot that you can lay. Cool, comfortable. I'm looking for hair. Look here. I don't know if you can see this, but like these little blooms and stuff. The leaf, that leaf has been squashed. That has been squashed. See it? Something's laid there. Now, deer could have been laying under here as well. 
I'm not saying, I'm just saying. I'm gonna get in it. I'm not in it. And actually the exit's right in front of me. I went around that way. See, look at that, like something was eating on these little blooms. So, very interesting. I'm not smelling anything. And I don't see any hair. So I went around and came back out, which I would think that would be the way you'd come out. Interesting. Like I said, this all could be natural. Of course, the deer trail right here continues on down through. I'm not one. To be honest with you guys, that's just too thick to try to deal with. I'm looking for footprints. I don't see them. Right? This is a real thick area. It's off the deer, it's off the horse trail, but if I was sitting there, I could definitely observe the horses going by and people. I've got the lake at my back so nothing can sneak up on me. Thick, thick brush to the right and left. Uh, water right there would be a good place to get a drink and just lay down. So like I said, that could be a place for deer's bedding. A lot of that, some of that's naturally formed. There are some sticks that were laid in there. Don't know, guys. I'm gonna get another shot of this. So I was gonna hide like that's where it'd be. I don't see any footprints. Of course with this, I mean, uh, there's another deer trail going down. Show you how close he is. Of course, I can't see the light. You see, I'm right here on the lake. So you could easily walk down there, get you a little drink of water. Nobody ever know. I broke out the top of the cedar. Or excuse me, pine. And guys, we're at eight minutes. I'm going to cut this one off and start another one.